Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Slayer 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon from where we left off last episode. I'm just working on trying to get this hay all tethered so I can dry out and then we're going to jump into the 7810. I keep forgetting. The 7800 we're just going to call it. And we're going get, to get, roll, get to rolling the, all the hay and straw up here shortly. And then we'll have to we'll take the Mack truck and the low loader out to the fields and start loading up all the bales with the skid loader. So I was starting to think, you know, I might have to start thinking about bringing that Oliver back here because we got so many small tasks that I could probably help with that I, so I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth with this 4020 all the time because it's been pretty much our full-time auger tractor for everything. And once in a while we got so much going on in an episode like now where we probably could have been tethering with the Oliver while the 4020 could have sat on the auger the whole time. Because now that I think about it, we're... I'm starting to lose tr track of time in these ser this series and such, so to speak. Like, I didn't even realize that next month we'll have to start to get... We'll have to start chopping corn. Granted, in reality, we probably don't need to. We're sitting pretty well yet, but I kind of want to chop... get a good amount chopped yet. I ain't... At least anyways, so that way we don't have to worry about ever falling behind, so to speak. But we we are sitting pretty good on silage overall for everything that I think in I think in next year we might might turn plow this under and plant something else here. I haven't really decided yet. There's a few things I have in mind that I want to do, but the issue the reoccur reoccurring issue is always always money. There's a bunch of upgrades that we need to do yet that I should do before we acquire a new piece of land. And I'm still staying committed that we gotta finish modeling out the BGA. So like as soon as we get get our planter bought and that tanker bought for all and milk, we're gonna be we're gonna be work I'm gonna be working away between the episode to finish getting that GG that not GGA. The BGA all specked out as such with the the building I want there and such, and I'm I'm half tempted to store, to put up a, oh, kind of like a, a newer model deep shed like this to store the, to store the semi and the tanker over there. So that way it's kind, it's kind of in a nice place and such and out of the way. Let's get this tether put away here. And we might even store like the slurry tanker over there as well, just so it's out of the way. But I, like I said, I haven't really decided yet. I still need. I still want to set up another machine sh machine shed away from here that we can store all our tillage and like planting equipment all our like our planter like our row crop planter there and our tillage equipment there that we will only use like once once a season for so uh, we s we still got a lot I still got like I guess the biggest issue is is that I have a I have a vision in my head right now and the only issue with that vision is that I'm lacking the funding right now, so to speak, so. But right now, we're we're going to head out here, get this all raked up. Hoping I'm far enough. I'm not too far ahead. I think that should be fine. Cause I still want to do two outside passes with, with the rake when we're all said and done here. But I think this is about right where I should be. And I'm trying to think right now, and I should have done this experiment earlier. Honestly, I should just look it up. It'd probably be easier just to get look up on the, an the answer on the internet like everything else anymore. I haven't figured out if as soon as if as soon as we get new cattle for the dairy, are they producing milk right away, or is it going to be more like in reality where they got a calf at least once before they produce? Because if that's the case. Well, I know that's not the case already, but I wonder if they got to be at least 12 months before they actually start fully reproducing milk because I kind of want to I kind of want to move some to the pasture over here if that's the case. That way we can keep cycling more dairy cattle in and kind of get like a nice steady flow of selling the older cow cows off when we when we need to. And then bringing the newer ones up after we get rid of them, so to speak. Kind of like I've been doing in my Elm Creek series with the sheep. Just wait until they reach the sale price and then sell 
saw them off shortly before all the all the sheep that are in the process of giving birth and offspring. So that way we can make the most out of everything. I should... I'll have to look into that sometime, because I honestly do not know the answer, because this is the first time I've ever decided to mess with cattle on Farming Simmer 22, so... But right now, I think we're going to jump in the time lapse here. We still got quite a bit of a day ahead of us. And we got a lot of work to get done, so we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everyone. This is where we're gonna start up wrapping up today's episode. Kind of a, kind of a long day for, for us when you consider that the last two episodes have been combined. We got, we got all our hay and straw bailed, and we got it all stacked up. I'm surprised that I was able to get it to all fit on this trailer. I'm, I'm surprised that Bobcat could reach high enough too. To be honest with you, I thought we weren't gonna be able to make it, but we barely, we barely got her up there. I don't even think we can make the turn around the shed. I think we're just gonna have to pull up alongside it and back up to get it, get everything unloaded into the bale shed. But we'll see what happens as we get over there. This, I'm pretty proud proud of this stacking job. Not the greatest in the world, but it's definitely not the worst I've done. I can tell you that much. Oh, I, we got plenty of turning space. I I thought this this was a lot smaller. That straw one just okay. There it goes. We'll have to see where we're at for, for everything. There we go. Now let's just pull this around the corner. We'll just. Uh, I really need to move all that stuff there. It's this trailer is just really awkward to turn with, and it's. And I'm not used to turning with something with such a wide turn, needing a wide turn radius, so to speak. I think we should, yeah, there we go. We'll just park it over here next to the, next to the grain trailer for now. But no, that, I think this semi and this, like all the trailers that we'll be investing into is going to be a really great money saver. I know tomorrow, for next month, we will be planting to chop some corn silage. I don't. I don't know if we're going to chop as near as much as I planned originally. I think, depending on how much we get off this field, these two fields, because I'm planning to chop those ones for sure, just because they're not the greatest yielding fields. I think we'll plan on chopping those for sure. See how much chaff we got in this silo right now. 252,000. So we didn't, we haven't gone through that much silage, so to speak. That's still fermenting grass silage from last month, the last, uh, earlier this spring as well, so let's turn that off. I'll at least get it, get this completely filled up. But yeah, we are sitting pretty dang good. I want, I never checked to see how many bales we've had total. Yeah, that's, let's see. That's a little under 400,000 for hay, and we got almost 350, 300, we just got a little over 340,000 for straw, so we, we got quite a bit stored in here already. I like this mod, but the one thing that concerns me is I kind of wish this went all the way up to the top first before we started in the front layer, because kind of the way I've been using this shed is just a little place to put the skittle, or I was thinking about putting the TMR wagon in here as well, but I don't think that's going to happen now. But like I said, we're going to wrap up today's episode. Next month, we're planning for chopping. We'll have to get all this stuff cleaned up and get the chopper, the corn head on the chopper, and we'll be going from there. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.